everyone. Welcome back to Learn Than Code. So I received lots of requests from students regarding Cloud Support Associate role and uh, how to prepare for this role and crack the interview. So I thought to prepare a video and answer all those queries. So let's move to the agenda of this video. So this is the agenda of this video and these are the questions that I'm planning to cover and uh, please watch till the end because I'm going to share some useful tips and answer all the queries that uh, students generally have. So first is how to prepare for AWS Cloud Support Associate role. Then what are the preparation material that uh, one should follow? Next is some myths around this role. For example, do I need to know cloud computing to crack the interview? Or do I need to have hands-on experience on AWS? Or do I need to have certifications for this role? And lastly, my interview experience. So let's start with the first question. How to prepare for AWS Cloud Support role? See, to prepare for this role, first of all, you should know what kind of work or what is the job responsibilities in this role. Mainly, you should be good with basic concepts such as networking, database, Linux, and uh, troubleshooting skills of how to troubleshoot a network issue or how to troubleshoot if a website is not working. So these kind of skills you should have. This role is about the troubleshooting skills, about how to troubleshoot a particular networking issue or a particular database issue. To prepare for this role, the main skills that you should have are networking, operating systems, good with Linux commands. And the main thing is good with troubleshooting. In this role, coding skills are less required. I often receive few questions like, do I need to have AWS certification to crack this role? Or uh, do I need to have hands-on experience on AWS? Or do I need cloud computing skills uh, to crack this role? Then my answer is no to all of these questions because you know this role is about the basic concepts and from a grad they do not expect you to know about aws or uh, cloud computing skills and also in the core of cloud computing everything is just the same way work in traditional way in all the interview rounds uh, of this role main focus would be on your basic concepts like are you good with networking are you good with database no SQL, SQL, and are you good with the Linux commands, basic Linux commands, and are you able to troubleshoot a particular issue? For example, uh, if website is not working, then how would you go with the troubleshooting? And what are the steps you would take? Or what are the commands you would use to connect to a remote computer? Or what are the basic networking commands that you would use to troubleshoot a networking related issue? For example, uh, latency is high or uh, there's connection issues. Then and what are the commands you would use? So these kind of questions that uh, you should be aware of and uh, how things work in networking and database so that you should be able to answer all those questions. And uh, for example, how does DNS works or how does DSCB works? So you should be able to explain all of these concepts Next is the preparation material. So I would highly recommend to use the standard books only for your preparation because they are the only source of truth and uh, they would help you to, you know, make your concepts very clear and uh, you can easily answer the questions that the interviewer will ask you. First book is Data Communication and Networking by Frozen. This is a very standard book and very easy to understand. It's like a storytelling that you can easily grasp all the networking concepts. Next is Operating System by Galvin. It is again a very good book to understand all the uh, operating system concepts and you should be able to answer all the questions that will be asked in the uh, interview. So I would highly recommend these two books Books. Once you have gone through these two books and also the basic Linux commands, then you can go to the Glassdoor or Geek for Geeks website so that you can get an idea what type of questions that uh, might come in your interview. They are very helpful. Check out the questions and try to answer them by yourself and see if you're able to answer these those questions that were asked in the interview. Next is my interview experience. So my interview was off campus. For preparation, I use these two standard books, 
for data communication and networking, I used Frozen and uh, for operating systems, I used Calvin. These two books really helped me to understand each and every concept uh, related to DCN and OS and uh, really helped me during my interview. Then I went through the past interview questions. So my interview process was of five rounds, each were elimination round. First one was the online assessment in which uh, there are 20 or 25 MCQ questions and then two were coding questions. Then uh, if you're able to crack that round, then there will be four face-to-face -face rounds, mix of technical and behavioral. Make sure to go through Amazon's leadership principles because they are very important. One round would be based on those principles only. So make sure to go through the leadership principles for behavioral round. And for technical rounds, uh, it is mix of all the uh, networking, database, uh, Linux, and operating system and troubleshooting. Each round would be around one hour. Just a disclaimer, this is my interview experience and it was before COVID. Uh, so I'm not sure if this is the same uh, process now also. I am only sharing my experience in this video. Now, next, I want to talk to you about Newton School, which is a great platform in terms of learning and developing your skills like full stack development. And they help you prepare for your dream company and without paying any upfront fees, which is great, right? They will help you to build your tech career for the dream companies because they have partnered with 700 plus companies all over the world. And they do not charge anything upfront from you. The students are already been placed in various companies like Google, Zomato, Nika, and many more. So I would highly suggest you to please check out their website and take their courses for free because they're doing a great job in helping students getting good jobs in the industry and building a good tech career in the IT domain. As you can see here, there's zero fee till placement. There's no upfront fees that you have to pay. The students work in top companies like Google, ThoughtWorks, Somato. They have live classes, industry projects, mock interviews, and personal mentoring that would help you to ace the interviews and get a really good job in the IT industry. They also have this amazing full stack web course, which would really help you if you'd like to learn the full stack development. And uh, you don't have to pay any upfront fees for this course. You would only have to pay them after you get your dream company job. So which is great, right? So do check out their website. I'll add all the necessary links that are required in the description below. So that's it. This was uh, all that I wanted to cover in this video. Um, I hope it was helpful. So please reach out to me if you have any other questions. I would be happy to help. Thank you.